we had a dog barking. Anyways, we're about to make, the light in here is trash. It's dark outside because it's rainy and yuck. But we're going to make a special treat tonight. I'm gonna do some like totally just made up, not quite Christmas, but cherry cordial, is that how you say it? You know what I'm talking about, inspired brownies. I just, for some reason I thought of that and thought that would be good. I was trying to figure out something I could use the leftover cherries for from the danishes because I barely used any and we still have most of that jar in the refrigerator. So we're gonna use those and then I'm, I'm kind of excited about it. I say that a lot. I say that almost every video. I like food, but we're gonna do that. Um, I figured it'd be a good treat for John, something that he really likes because he really likes brownies. So we're gonna do that, but first we have another gift here that I wanna share because like I said, every other time I like to give credit where credit is due. This one is from my friend, Tony. Now, the kids kept bothering me and asking me why I sent myself a gift because she has the same name as me. Let me go let this dog out. So, what was I saying? Uh, the kids kept asking me why I sent myself a gift because they would say, who's it from? And I would say, Tony. And then, you know, there goes the joke. But, anyways, yeah. She has the same name as me. She's also from Kentucky. She's, like, way off, though, from me. But, it was it's nice to have a, a friend with the same name as me. Which, that don't sound like a big deal to most people. But, when your name is Tony and you're a girl, it is definitely a big deal. I always hated my name growing up. I think I finally, at like 33, maybe last couple years, I finally got to where my name is okay to me, but I was always ashamed of it. Like, I hated giving people my name, even, um, you know how like now you go into restaurants and they ask for a name for orders? I always give my last name, and I still give my last name because it's such a big, I don't know, it's always just shameful to me for my name. I hated my name. Absolutely always hated it. That's always something. But yeah, now I don't hate it as much. Maybe any. I don't know. Um, I don't think I hate it no more. I might even actually kind of like it. Like Wendy always talks about that she liked my name. Yeah, I always hated my name and I would always give like McKinney at restaurants and stuff, which still if I do every so often, if I give Tony, I always spill it out because it's just a thing for me, which doesn't always help because people still spell it with a Y. But I always hated it growing up, and I think it definitely didn't help that I was named after my dad, and he was Tony Wayne, which Wayne is not even his middle name, so make it make sense. But he was always Tony Wayne, and I was always Tony Lee growing up, so. And you know, growing up like in elementary school, nobody knows who Tony Braxton is, at least when I was in middle school. So. I was like the only girl, I even had boys be like, do you know that's a boy's name? I was like, you know, it's fun, yay. But I always hated my name, but now it's very special to me that I have a friend named Tony. Hello, Will, and a barky dog named Will. This is one that's making all that noise, right? Yeah. All right, but we're gonna share the gift and then we're gonna get into making these treats. Hopefully they're good. I'm going to make a little, a little one in a little pot pan to share with my neighbor if they're good because she likes chocolate covered cherries. She got me hooked on some fancier ones last year. I have not found them yet this year, but they don't have the white cream in them. They're delicious. Oh my goodness. I need to find out what they are called from her so I can try to find me some of those because I've actually been looking for them at the store, but I don't know if I'm looking in the wrong place or what, but I need some of those. But anyways, I'm gonna share what Tony got us. And the funny thing is, I went to get this one day and the post office had already closed on me. So I had to wait and go back the next day they opened. And so while I was in town, I went ahead and we went to the vendor's mall. And I got a couple of little pieces like of the Christmas Village stuff. If you remember, I said where we set up the gingerbread house area that I wanted to buy some of the little pieces to put in there to kind of like go with it. Every year, that is going to be our new tradition, is at Thanksgiving, we're going to do our gingerbread house. That way, I can put it on the shelf. So, 
so I mean put it up as display as part of her decoration so what she sent is perfect I went to the Fendler's Mall I'm all over the place I'm sorry and I ended up finding some just little pieces just random things that would look good up there but when I got home I opened her package and this is what was in it and it was so perfect I'm so excited to add this to the area I wanted to, to film this last night because you know I wanted to get it set up but I also didn't want to film it last night because it's crazy we had so much going on so waited till this morning to film it so we can get it put in there so she sent us this little gingerbread house display which I could sit up totally on its own but I worry it'll get broke and it'll look cute in there so we're gonna put that with it she also sent this beautiful snowflake that I'll probably also just incorporate into our little display up there I think it would look really cute and then she sent me this big absolutely precious Santa Claus mug it is so perfect I love it so thank you so much Tony for the gift and we're gonna put this up and then we're gonna get some brownies So first things first, we're just gonna make brownies just like the package says. We still have some of these brownies from Sam's Club which are delicious. We're gonna make one of those according to the package which I think is two eggs, two tablespoons of water, and a half a cup of oil, I think. I'm gonna get some eggs. We don't have any brewed coffee. We have some of the girls like code brew in the refrigerator, but there wasn't that much in there. I don't think they should be running out, and I don't, I don't want to take their coffee. So we'll do water. Y'all know I usually use coffee in my brownies. It ain't gonna make or break it if we don't. love these bowls that we got from Walmart during the Black Friday sale. I was in there earlier watching a movie on the Great American Christmas Channel on Friendly TV. And it was a movie with Kimmy in it from Full House. And I didn't get to finish it. And I forgot to record it. We're going to use our little cow pan here. Now usually we like to go for thin brownies. So I do the eight by whatever I mean nine by whatever is it nine by 13 I think so but since I'm wanting to make a little thing of these for my neighbor if they're good if we taste them and they're not good I'm not gonna share them with her so I'm gonna do the little well we don't want that in our brownies I'm gonna do the little one there for the family and then do this one for her
if he wasn't sharing, this would be a lot simpler. Not that this really adds much to it, but just want to make sure that we get it nice and well, goodness. We're going to call that good. And then, I'm going to take the cherries. I thought about doing this with the Marchino cherries. Because we have a container of those that I hid away in the cabinet to make some cookies with ages ago. But then we had this in the refrigerator and I was like, that needs to get used up anyway. So that's what we're doing. And then on the top, we're going to use some chocolate chips. And to give it, I guess, a better feel for being a chocolate cherry, we're going for the cheap ones, I guess, the not as good ones. So we're going to add some of these cream cheese, whatever, chips, because I'm out of white chocolate at the moment. These would actually, probably what I would pick anyways, just feels like it would have the better, you know, a taste, I guess. Even on the inside of the chocolate covered cherries is not cream cheese, but it just, I don't know. Now we're going to bake these and then we're going to cross our fingers that they're good because if not, we waste, we wasted a lot of product, but I'm going to sit this one on a pan, I guess, just to make sure I can you know, get it in and out safely. I'm going to start it with, what are we going to start it with? 30 minutes, uh, 25 minutes, and then we'll check it and we'll go from there. We'll bring you back when it's done. Fingers crossed that they're good. I have high hopes. We'll see. All right, so I think that these ended up these, I think these ended up cooking 30 minutes, maybe a little bit longer. It took longer than I expected it to, but I assume that's because of the wet ingredients on top. However, guys, these was amazing. It's probably the best brownies that I've made in a very long time, maybe ever. So they was so good. Like I was surprised at how good they was. I used to not like canned cherries, like the pie filling cherries, but. I don't know if they've changed it or if just my taste buds have changed, but this was so good. And those cherries just made it so much better. And it, I was going to take a bite because I wasn't in the mood for it. I wasn't in the mood for any more food because we actually had went out to eat. John had came home and asked if we wanted to go out to eat and the kids wanted to. So we got up, we got ready and we went out to eat. So I wasn't even hungry at all, but these were so good. I ended up eating a whole one. Like I understand my problem. I just, I'm not ready to fix it. So, yeah, they was delicious. 10 out of 10, in my opinion. So, I'm definitely going to be sharing these. But, I hope that you enjoyed this video. We will see you all next time. As always, remember to show grace, be content, and live blessed. Bye, guys.